You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And no, Ellie, that offer does not extend to you broadcasting another of your crude jokes. Hey, that's a real planet. And no one's seen it in a long time. Damn it, Ellie, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Anyway, like I was saying, you aiming to send a message, you better be quick. Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That signal's part of how Groundbreaker stays autonomous and independent. Much as I'd love to hear fewer corporate jingles, this would be bad. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sure, I mean, they got their own relays and all, but they'll only send along messages the corporations pay for. And then they charge folks to send messages back, often more than they can afford. And none of that money goes to the Groundbreaker. Just tightens the board's grip on our throat. Not nearly as much, and that money goes to keeping the station operational, helps keep us independent. If we lose the message fees, the entire ship will feel the pinch. Before long, the only place for people to trade words and goods will be on Terra 2, right under the board's control. That'd spell the end of Groundbreaker. Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the Groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station, which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. That they can and they do, but only between ships owned by the same corporation. No corp will authorize sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. And no corp will relay messages for the Wildcat freighters, not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreaker's neither corporate-owned nor board-controlled. Our comms are neutral. The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the Fritz. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. We don't know why it went down or if it's even a hardware-related issue. Getting a team out there takes time and money, neither of which we have readily on hand. And we do have multiple auxiliaries, just... They won't be in orbital range during the next few months. Our backup station will be. If it weren't for the occlusion event coming our way, we'd be doing fine as always. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? The Relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Yeah, I told him. Oh, ha ha ha. That tickles. How odd.
No, oh. don't desist. I think I might like it. Further data collection is required for accurate assessment. We'll be here, Captain. Or will we? Haha. <laughs> It's a touch different from the ones I've seen. Shouldn't be so hard to get it patched up, though. Perfect spot for some peace and quiet. Dead, Amy.
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry, who gave you a needle full of love? Auntie Cleo, that's who. Have you given your auntie a hug today? You've been listening to Halcyon News, your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all